than other video. You guys, I haven't sat down and filmed a video and I don't know how long. I'm like so excited right now because I haven't been able to like sit down and talk to you guys. But today I'm going to be doing another hair video. If you want to know why I haven't been like posting any videos, um, like sit down videos, stay to the end of the video. Or if you even care, you don't really have to, but you know, if you do, just look at it. <laughs> it's been four months since I cut my hair and it's been three months since I did my one month natural video. I'm gonna just show y'all the length and stuff. It's crazy. Okay, my hair is wet, by the way. Like, when it's dry. Why am I screaming? <laughs> when it's dry, it's different. Oh my god, I'm looking at myself and my hair's grown so freaking much. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of the length I'm stretching it out on my fingers. Ah! Okay. Um, oh my god! You guys, my hair's grown so much. What the heck? Who am I? This is it, not behind my ears. I'm adding this part in the video real quick. It's like two days after I filmed it because I realized I forgot to do an actual length check. And I put on the same sweater because I just wanted you to be able to see how, I don't know. <laughs> I realized I showed y'all the length of my hair and I just got out the shower again and I figured this was the perfect time to do it. But like, I'll actually stretch out my hair because I realized I didn't do that. So, it goes to about right here. So, I mean, a pretty big difference, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Let's do a piece from the back, because the back is shorter than the um, bottom part. So yeah, like the back just goes to like right here. But like really when it shrinks up, it's like right here. The longest piece is about right when you get to like my boobs, I guess. Oh my God, I said boobs. Uh. That's how long my hair really is. So you guys, I've been using on my hair, okay, what I've always been using and I haven't like changed is the Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioner. Oh my God, am I a beauty guru? You know, it's the green bottle, it's the Garnier Fructis, it's the Leave-In Conditioner, I just said that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and my handy dandy spray bottle for when my hair is dry. We'll get to that in a second, okay. Um, I also have been using the Cantu coconut curling cream. I actually tried this before I cut my hair and went natural or whatever and it worked. It made my hair really, now that I think about it, it made my hair too moisturized because it was like stringy and straight. It just didn't go because it's made for curly hair. It's not made for stringy wavy hair. Otherwise, it makes it super oily. Now, oh my god, that's why it didn't work. I'm so stupid. But now it actually works really good with like moisturizing my hair and your hair is curly, you know, it's um, curly. So the moisture from the top doesn't get to the bottom and you know it's just dry. Another thing that I picked up but I actually didn't like at first, but I'm starting to like it. Bleh, bleh. Okay, I'm starting to like it now is the Coconut and Hibiscus Pearl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moistures. I didn't like it at first actually, which is surprising because everyone like raves about Shea Moisture and stuff like that. And I was like really disappointed because I spent my own money. Wait, did I? No, I think my mom bought it. <laughs> and I felt bad. I was like, oh my god, I don't really like it. But it's better now, and I actually like it. I use it on my hair today. Okay, <laughs> so now let's talk about how I style it. Okay, so I wash my hair maybe once a week. And what I mean by wash my hair is I shampoo and condition once a week. I wet my hair pretty much every day. I have to wet my hair every day, otherwise it just, it just doesn't work, okay? But I don't shampoo my hair every day. I condition it pretty much every day. But I don't entangle it every day even. Okay. <laughs> when I wash my hair, I shampoo, condition, and detangle. They're kind of gone. And I usually do that on like a Sunday before school or something. And then every other day of the week, whenever I take my shower, I'll wet my hair, put conditioner in it, and finger detangle. But if it's just really, really tangled, I'll use my Denman brush. Let me go with that. I'll use my Denman brush. I like it. Some people don't. They say it causes shrinkage. I think it works really, really good and I really, really like it. And if my hair is really tangled one day and I'm not washing my hair that day, I'll put a bunch of conditioner and I'll use my Denman brush. But if it's not really tangled, I'll just finger detangle with my hands like and some conditioner and call it a day. Eh. Styles. Most of the time, it's in a little ponytail like this. I used to when I first cut my hair, put it in the little pineapple thing on the top of my head. Since it's growing, it kind of doesn't look good like that. It still does, I just don't do it as much. I've tried a braid out before. I think I put a video of that up, 
and y'all can I'll link it in the description if you want to watch it all my hair videos I will link at the bottom normally I'm lazy and I don't do that stuff but trust me I will this time just because I figure it'll help y'all sometimes I'll even do my two braids going down is that a fish toe or is that a Dutch braid I don't know sometimes I'll do the ponytail and I'll like braid a piece because my front piece is from when I decided to cut bangs which were so cute by the way still not all the way grown out it's about like right here so it doesn't like fit all the way back in the stuff in a while I'll just do a whole hairstyles video if y'all want that another one i'm supposed to be doing a part two to my other one so if y'all want another hairstyle video just let a girl know it i'll do it okay <gasps> sleep when i sleep i sleep on like a satin pillowcase you can sleep on a silk one if you're bougie but they say it helps i just don't like my hair to get rough half the time i don't even end up sleeping on it because it end up on the floor i'm not like Ooh, one of the little hair people are like, you have to do this, you have to follow the rules. You don't have to follow any rules for your hair. It's your hair. Do what you want, you know? <coughs> Duh. So yeah, this is basically a link check type video to see how much my hair has grown. And it's been flourishing, honey. It's been flourishing. I've been really busy. I've had a lot going on these past couple months. Not even by choice because I don't want to be that busy. After Christmas break started 2018, I promise I will sit down and talk to my camera more for you guys. I promise. I have so many ideas for December. All this stuff and I just haven't had time to do them. I even had some Halloween videos that I wanted to do but I wasn't able to film them because I didn't have time. It really bugs me. Like, it bugs me so much that I can't do what I actually love to do. That's why I am making some decisions in my life. And <laughs> I'm going to be uploading way more videos. Just wait, you guys. I will tell y'all after I go through with everything that I'm going to do. It's going to be great. And I'm so excited to, like, just be able to put more of my time into what I love to do, which is YouTube. I wanted to try to get to 15K by the end of this year. And that's literally like a month away and I know it's probably not gonna happen but it's a goal I guess I need like a thousand eight hundred more subscribers that's a lot trust me it's a lot but hopefully with me putting out more videos and stuff I can make that happen I didn't even think I would get to 13,000 subscribers first of all my goal was like maybe 5,000 when I started YouTube about seven months ago now we're at 13 guys that's crazy thank y'all so much by the way and I'm just I really want to put more time into this I think that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>